two new, completely free hair, like the checkered headband hair and the goggles hair. I'm going to show you how to get both completely free. Let's get started. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or Premium. It helps support me and my channel. All right, so for these items, we're going to join the game Walmart Discovered. They have some of the best free UGC events. They've now added a new Discovery Pass for Season 5. With this, you'll need to level up with XP. And when you reach tier number 5, you'll be able to claim the checkered headband hair completely free. I love that hair. As you level up more and reach tier 10, you'll get the MX goggles hair completely free. This is season 5, so we still have 30 days to complete. And it's actually pretty easy to do. You're gonna head down to Glide and Seek and you'll have easy, medium, or hard obbies to complete. Easy will give you 1000 XP, medium will give you 1500, and if you're able to complete the hard obby, you'll get 2000 XP. So you're just gonna need to sit and play this obby of Glide and Seek over and over again as you level up your tiers until you reach tier 5 for your first item and tier 10 for the second item. This is the hair that you'll get at tier 5, and tier 10 will give you the short goggle hair. A link for the game is in the video description. Want to know how to get this XOX Queenie backpack, as well as this super adorable crown head accessory? I'm going to show you how you can claim both. Let's get started by joining Elf Up Tycoon. A link for this game will be in the description. Once you join the game, we'll get started with the plushie task. If you click on the new event icon over to the right of your screen, you'll see in Elf Up we need to complete four quests. The first quest is to collect 10 plushies. These are actually super easy to find as they do glow and you can even see them from a distance that have a white glow, so you know exactly where to find them. So go ahead and collect your first 10 plushies. Once you collect your 10 plushies, you'll now be able to move on to the second quest. And you can complete the quest in any order. So for this one, quest number two, we're gonna need to find 10 of these candies hidden around the map. The exact same like the plushies, they glow, and you can also see a white outline through the map so you know exactly where to go. We've collected all 10 of those, so now we need to paint the rest of the candy spicy. You'll see these beans around the map that are blue, and you'll need to walk up and click them with your paintbrush to paint them. You'll need to do this to 15, and it's super easy. Continue going around the map until you've painted 15 of the candy spicy. Now that we've completed three of the tasks, we can now go around and complete the final task, which is to collect 10 crowns. We've now completed all four quests in Elf Up. You can now see your progress over on the right. So we now need to move over to Bayside High School, which a link for this will also be in the description. In this game, we'll have four of the same type of quest to complete. So to get started, you're gonna need to grab the plushie over here on the end. Go ahead and grab your plushie for Queen of the School. And you'll need to complete three of the quests where you need to find candy, and also plushies around the map. There's 10 of each. Those are actually super easy to find. They glow just like over in Elf Up. Also, when you're in the cafeteria, you're gonna find 10 spicy candy. You'll need to find all 10 in the cafeteria, which we've just completed. So just continue finding the rest of your plushie and your candy. Pay attention at the top of your screen as well for the next class. That's going to be the final quest that we need to complete. For the final quest, make sure to have your Queen of the High School plushie equipped. 
Then, when the class shows at the top of your screen, go ahead and attend that class with this plushie equipped. So just go ahead and continue completing until you've went to all 10 classes. Then you'll have completed the four quests in Alpha and the four quests in Bayside High. Then you'll be able to claim both of these UGC items. There's still a couple thousand of the backpack and the crown is super low quantity. A link for both games are in the video description. Fans, there's a brand new Hello Kitty backpack that's now available completely free. I'm gonna show you how to get yours. Let's get started. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or Premium. It helps support me and my channel. First, let's head into my Hello Kitty cafe, which I'll leave a link for this game in the description. Once you join the game, you'll get the pop-up that says the new Hello Kitty 50th anniversary event is here. This is bringing a new Hello Kitty UGC backpack as the latest limited UGC. Let's sign in and check out all of the quests we need to complete. There's going to be four. The first event mission is to serve 10,000 customers at the coffee house. We also need to own a 50th anniversary cafe skin, reach a total of 10,000 meters in the anniversary mystery museum skateboard racetrack, and we also need to own the Hello Kitty outfit. To serve the customers, your NPCs will do this automatically, but you can also help speed it up. The cafe theme, I do already own this from last year, and it looks like this, the 50th anniversary cafe skin. You'll need to purchase this as well. Next, we're gonna need to head to the city at the outfit shop. Here's where you'll get the 50th anniversary celebration outfit. In order to purchase this, you'll need to spend 10,000 diamonds. Now that we have this complete, you can also check at any time of your progress. Now we need to reach a total of 10,000 meters in the skateboard racetrack. Click over to the city once again and click on Mystery Museum. You're going to need to head through this door portal. Once inside, you're just going to skateboard and you can keep track of your progress at the bottom of the screen. You'll need to skateboard 10,000 meters. It's actually super easy. I've already collected 1,000 or almost. Once you complete all four of those event missions, you'll be able to claim the completely free UGC. There's still almost 30,000 of these available left to claim. A link for the game is in the description. Want to know how to get this brand new, completely free, amazing pumpkin head accessory? I'm going to show you how to get yours now. Let's get started by joining the game Meep City. It's been a while since we've been in this game, but I'll leave a link in the description. Once you join the game, head over to the Halloween area. Once inside, you're going to head to the back right corner of the map until you find the corn maze right here. To begin your task, you're gonna need to enter the corn maze and reach the middle of the maze. To begin, go by the path where the logs are and follow where I go. This is going to take a while, but I'm not going to speed it up so that you guys can follow exactly where I go. I'll meet you guys when we get to the middle of the maze and how to claim the item.
Okay, so we've now made the middle of the maze and in order to collect the free UGC item, head to the middle by the pumpkin and you'll get a pop-up where you'll be able to claim the completely for UGC. You'll now be able to find this in your head accessories. Here is what it looks like on. A link for the game is in the description. Want to know how to get this lion cub beanie hat completely free? I'm gonna show you how to get this UGC. Let's go. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. To get started, go ahead and join the game Wicked RP. I'll have a link for this game in the video description, so you make sure to join the right one. Go ahead and enter the game. It looks like a movie just to get here. Once you enter, over to the right, you'll see the lion cub hat. If you walk over, you'll see that once the game reaches 20,000 likes, this item will release to claim. So make sure to head over and like the game. Once this reaches 20,000 likes, you'll be able to claim the completely free lion cub beanie. A link for the game is in the description. Want to know how to get this brand new, completely free UGC item? I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. Let's get started by joining Amazon's Joyful Horizons, which I'll leave a link for in the description. Go ahead and claim your free gifts from your daily rewards. You're going to need these and more. You can see if we head over to the free item area, there's still over 14,000 of these available to claim which you'll be able to get once you have collected 1,000 points. You'll easily get points by sending gifts like this. I've saved up a bunch of my gifts, so I'm going ahead and sending over 100. You get one point for every gift that you send and receive. Now let's check out all of the gifts that we've received. You'll get these by other players in the server. And super easy, we've just collected 131 points. You'll find more gifts around the map like this. There's also different quests that you can complete in-game. Complete the quests of different NPCs that are around the map and save up 1,000 points and you'll be able to redeem for this free UGC item. A link for the game is in the description. Want to know how to get your own completely free anime sweater hoodie, which is the latest for UGC? I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. To get started, join the game Hello Tokyo Friends, which I'll have a link for this game in the description. You'll see the new free limited UGC icon with three quests to complete. Retro Tokyo, you'll need to stay in that area for 30 minutes, find the kite and origami, and also win Edo Dash five times. Let's head over to Retro Tokyo. This is the area that you're going to need to hang out in for 30 minutes. This quest is super easy. If you head through the glowing door, is where you'll find one of the two items we need to collect. Go under the sign and go straight all the way to this back tall building. And you'll see this mini obby that's floating in the sky. You'll need to take this obby to make your way to the very top of the building to find the kite. You will need either a friend or another player in the server to help you get across. Make your way all the way to the top of the building like this, and you'll find the first item, which is the kite. Go ahead and click to claim, and then head back over to the lobby. Here we're going to go to the Edo Tokyo area. This is where we'll find the next item. Head across the bridge and go to the back right corner of this map. Follow where I go where this building is and head to the back door, right here. This is where you'll find the origami. So we've now collected both items we need to get the free UGC. 
So you'll need to play 30 minutes at Retro Tokyo and also win 5 rounds of Edo Dash. So this one you'll just need to play until you win 5 times. Once you have completed all 3 of those quests, you'll be able to claim the free anime hoodie. There's still over 2,000 of these available to claim and you'll find them in your clothing accessories. Want to know how to get this new trick-or-treating top hat completely free? I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. For this item, go ahead and join the game Meep City, which a link for this will be in the description. Once you join the game, head over to the area where the Halloween map is, right here. Go through the entrance to begin. If you click down on your house icon, it'll bring you to the neighborhood. In order to get the top hat, you're going to need to trick or treat at 350 homes. In order to trick or treat, go up to any of the homes that have the glowing floating candy. Click on the icon and you'll trick or treat. For one. Go to the next home and the same thing trick or treat. For number two. This is going to take a bit of time. It is pretty easy, but it's going to take a while because you do need to trick or treat at 350 homes. It doesn't matter how much candy you earn. You just need to go to a new home each time and look for that floating glowing candy. Go ahead and play through until you have trick or treated 350 times. Then you'll be able to claim the top hat completely free. This is going to take some time and there is still 47,000 of these available to claim. So there's still lots of time to get yours free. Want to know how to get this brand new completely free wizard hat of potions? I'm going to show you how to get this now. Let's go. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. To get started, go ahead and join the game Toll Bridge Simulator, which I'll have a link in the description. Once you join the game, click on Free UGC. There's four quests that you'll need to complete. Convince five players to use your potions, craft 50 potions, use 20 potions on the main world, and also collect 500 ghost tokens. So we're gonna head over to the Halloween event by clicking the orange button that you guys seen. Here's where you're gonna be able to craft your potions. There's also a storage chest where you can keep all of your ingredients. You can also buy potions and potion ingredients. You're gonna need those vials, so in order to collect them, there's a couple different ways. You'll collect that currency that you need at the toll booth by charging the vehicles. Also inside of your store, which you're definitely gonna wanna head over into, Upgrade your cashier and add your shelves. This will also earn you more money. You'll want to continue upgrading all of your items and the different areas on your map so you can earn more money faster. Also, as ghosts enter your store, they're going to drop different items. You'll also earn potions and ghost coins, you'll see them around your map. And you can keep track at any time. Let's collect more potions and ghost tokens. More ingredients and tokens. So you'll be able to go over to your chest and add in all of the ingredients that you're finding around the map. Once you go ahead and craft some of those potions, head over to the regular world and have other players drink your potions. Again, you can keep track of your progress at any time. And when you complete all four, you'll be able to claim the wizard hat of potions completely free. This is definitely gonna take a while to complete, but I actually find this game kind of fun. A link for the game is in the video description. Wanna know how to get this completely free witch's hat from Wicked? I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. To get started, go ahead and join the game Wicked RP, which I'll have a link for this game in the description. Once you join the game, collect your daily rewards. You'll need these diamonds and more. 
You can go around the map and find more diamonds. They're everywhere, but this is definitely going to be the slowest way to save your diamonds. If you head over to the UGC area where the hat is, you'll see the witch's hat still has over 9,000 available stock to claim. In order to claim this, we'll need 15,000 diamonds. And you can see there's a bunch of other items that are releasing soon, so I'll keep you guys informed on when those items release. But for today, we're going to need to collect 15,000 diamonds. They're around the map, but definitely the fastest way is to complete quests and challenges. Like this one, we're going to find the flying broom that is over by the library. To get the broom, make your way to the top of the building and you'll see it on the back side. We've just got 500 diamonds. Super easy. You can now equip the broom and use this to fly around the map. So now let's complete the next quest. We're going to go over and find a hot air balloon over up high by the school. So just fly all the way to the top of the school to the back side and you'll see the hot air balloon and we just got another 500 diamonds. Continue completing quests until you've collected 15,000 diamonds and you'll be able to redeem the witch's hat completely free. Hey besties, wanna know how to get this brand new completely free Glinda's wand from Wicked? I'm gonna show you how to get this free. Let's get started. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. To begin, go ahead and join the game Wicked RP, which a link for this game will be in the description. Once you join the game, if you head over to the free UGC area, you'll see the new Glinda wand with over 9,400 still available to claim. There's still some of the other items available, so check those out while you're here. For the wand, you'll need 20,000 diamonds. Make sure to favorite the game so you can collect daily favorite rewards every single day. You can also join the mini games, which is the fastest and easiest way to earn diamonds. Every time you win the game, you'll get 250 diamonds. So I definitely recommend playing with a friend or using an alt account. And easy, we just got 250 diamonds. You'll also have your daily login rewards. You can also head around the map to collect them, but this is definitely the slowest way because you only collect one at a time. And we need 20,000. So I just recommend grabbing the diamonds as you're walking through the map as you complete quests. You'll have different rewards that you'll receive depending on the quest. Like this one, I definitely recommend doing first because you'll also be able to fly the broom after you complete this first quest. You'll find the broom at the top of the library on the back. So you get diamonds and you're also now able to use the broom to fly. Now we can head over, now that we have the flying broom, and we can find the hot air balloon, which is located over on the back top of the side of the school, right here. Keep collecting those diamonds until you've earned 20,000, where you'll be able to redeem Glinda's wand completely free. There's other free UGC in the game as well that you can work on at the same time. A link for the game is in the description. 